Greetings. My name is Harold Nolte. I've been doing Sudoku for a number of years now. I have over 170 videos on this channel all about solving Sudoku puzzles at different skill levels and different using all kinds of different techniques and and uh, patterns and things like that. Today's puzzle is from Charles Timmer, Timmerman's book 500 plus Sudoku puzzles. This is puzzle number 25. It's a hard from the hard section of the book. But before we get started, I wanted to let you know that at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a brand new Sudoku finding that is pretty incredible. It's really interesting. It comes from Logic Masters Germany and uh, I think you'll be blown away by it. It, it, it. I was blown away when I first saw it. But I need to fill in all the numbers before I can show it to you. And and this finding, it, it works on any Sudoku puzzle, which is incredible by itself. And you'll see what I mean when we get to that point. But let's get started. Um, we'll, we'll do the, I'll solve this puzzle and then I'll show you the, the technique or the, the finding that I'm talking about. Okay, the first few numbers that I fill in, most of them are pretty easy. This one's a little bit harder. We got a seven there, seven there, so we have ghost sevens there, so that's a seven. Two and the five there should be straightforward. And that one should be easy. Five here and a five here, so that's five, 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 and five. And again, that nine is easy to see. Um, if you don't see an, if you don't understand a number that I place or something that I do, please uh, leave a comment and I can try and answer your questions. This is an eight here. And that's because we've got an eight here, we have ghost eights here, an eight and an eight there. All right, we've got a nine right here. This one's a little bit harder to see. I used double row elimination to find that number there. We've got a 9 here, so one of these is a 9. We've got a 9 here and a 9 here, so one of these is a 9. So in two boxes, we've got a place in row 1 and row 3 where a 9 goes. And so in the third box, we know that the, or I'm, I'm sorry, not the row 1 and row 3, but the top row of this section in the bottom row of this section, in both boxes, we've got a 9. That eliminates those two rows, even though we can't solve these two numbers. And the 9 has to be in the middle row in this third box. There's a 9 there already. I went over that very quickly. There is a section in, under uh, techniques in sudokuprimer.com where it talks about double row and double column elimination. And you can look that up on, under techniques on that website. All right, now we've got a nine here and a nine there. All right. Now we've got a seven here for the, and we use double row elimination here too. A seven, seven, so one of these is a seven. Got a seven here, so one of these is a seven. That covers the top and bottom row of that section, or row one and row three of that section. So the seven in box one has to be in row two. There's a seven there. So. All right, now let's look at this column here. We're missing one, two, three, four, Eight, two, three, four, and eight. 
we know these are 3 and 4, so these have to be 2 and 8, and we can solve them because of that 2 there. All right, now we got an 8 there, 8 there, so we know that's an 8. Now we got a 5, 5, so that's a 5 right there. We know we've got a 2 here, and you remember that we found that one of these is a 9. We know the other one's a 2 with this 2 here. So, and we can't solve those two, but that leaves 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 3 and 8 there. And so we can solve those. Now we know we've got ghost threes here, a three there, so that's a three. And ghost numbers is another technique that you can learn about on SudokuPrinter.com if you're not familiar with that technique or that term. Uh, there are lots of other techniques and Sudoku patterns out there on that website also. Okay, so that's a three. And with this three, we know these are ghost threes, so one of these has to be a 3. So that's a 3 right there. All right. And now at this point, we're kind of getting stuck. If you look at this puzzle, there's not really much you can do with it, except for at this point, if we look at this column, eight here. Let's see what we're missing. We're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. One, two, six, and seven. We have a six and a seven there. That's a one or a two. We have a one or two there, so that's a six or a seven. Six or six and seven there, so that's a one or a two. So we have two sets of twins here. One, two, six, seven, one, two, six, seven. And with knowing that, and we've got twos here, so one of these has to be a two, but we know that with these twins, six, seven twins here, that can't be a two, so we know that's a two. All right. And now let's look at row five here. We're missing one, three, one and three. Okay, and here we've got a three, 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 so we can. That's a three there, and that's a one. Now let's look at. Uh, let's look at this column now. We're missing one. Four, six, one, four, and six. We're missing one and six here. Here, there we've got a one and a six, so that's a four. So that's a one, six, one, six. Okay. So with that four, we can find that four right there. Four, four, four. Now we're only missing one and two in this box right here. So these are one, two twins. Here we've got a two, and here we've got a two. So we know a two has to go in one of these two. And we've got one and two here, so two has to be in one of these, and one has to be in one of these three. Now we can use the ambiguity rule here. We know these are one, two twins, one and two. We know that one of these has to be a 2, 
and using the ambiguity rule or unique rectangles which it's called quite often and if you're not familiar with the ambiguity rule go to sudokuprimer.com and and read up on it it's it's very useful but with with that rule we know that neither of these can be a one because one of them has to be a two and uh, that would not work if since we have one two twins here so we know neither of these can be a one because one of them has to be a two and that's might be a little confusing but read up on that and that'll help you so we know that is a one right there okay and with that, we know that's a 6 right there, and that's a 1 right there. Okay. And with that 1 we found there, we know that's a 1. Okay, and 6, 1. With this three here in this field, and we know that's a three, and that'll solve our three four twins that we knew about in box eight there. Okay, and let's see. Now we know where a four goes. That four goes right there in box nine, and. The other in that row is a 2. If you remember, we knew one of these had to be a 2. And now we know these are 6 and 7, so we can fill those in. And our 1-2s one that we, one two twins that we knew about there, we can solve those. All right, now we have 1-7 twins there and one seven twins there. We can solve these. So therefore we can solve both sets of those one seven twins that we knew about. Now if you remember we had two nine twins there, we can solve them now. Okay, now with a nine there and a nine there we know that's a nine right there. only number left in that row is, is 6 and that is a 3 right there all right what are we missing here 3 6 so we can solve them so we're just about done here and now we've got uh, 4 and 6 missing here and that's it. All right. So that one wasn't too bad. It's a hard puzzle. It was eh, fairly easy. Um, we did get stuck at one point and finding these twins here in this column, the one, two, six, seven twins, helped us find that too. And that broke the puzzle open and uh, we were able to finish it. Okay, now you've probably been waiting for this uh, brand new finding that uh, I wanted to share with you. This is pretty incredible, actually. If you look at the four numbers in every corner of the puzzle, there's a 5, 4, 2, 1 here. There's a 3, 8, 4, 6 here. There's a 9, 7, 6, 2 here and a 2, 5, 8, 1 here. That is 4 times 4. That's 16 numbers. Now, if you look at these cells from here all the way to here, over to here, and then back around, the cells that surround box 5, they are the exact same numbers and there are 16 numbers there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There are 16 numbers in the cells that are surrounding box 5. And they're the exact same numbers as these 16 numbers here. 
And let me show you that. Let me prove it to you. Let's start up here. 5412. There's a 5, and I'll just circle the ones that I that we, that we list here. 4, 1, and there's a 2. Okay, so far we have four numbers. 3, 8, 4, 6. So there's a 3, there's an 8, there's a... Oops! <laughs> I goofed. That shouldn't, that isn't one of them. So let me find another 3. <laughs> I'll just X that one out. Okay, we're looking for 3, 8, 4, 6. So there's a 3, there's an 8, there's a 4, and there's a 6. Now let's look at this corner. 9762. There's a 9. There's a 7. There's a 6. And there's a 2. Okay. And now we've only got four numbers left. 2581. There's a 2. There's a 5. There's an 8. And there's a 1. So these 16 numbers are the same numbers as those 16 numbers. And I proved that by circling each one as I went along. Except for that 3 when I messed up. <laughs> uh, but isn't that incredible? Now Grab a couple of Sudoku puzzles that you've you've solved and just try that yourself. Um, circle, you know, look at those four numbers and then circle them in here. And then go to these four. And do exactly what I did, and you'll find that no matter what which Sudoku puzzle you look at, you'll see the same finding. That is pretty incredible. Now I've looked at that a little bit and tried to understand if I could use that for anything. Um, and I really haven't found any, anything where I can use that to help find numbers. But it's pretty, pretty interesting. So anyway, uh, that is it for today. Uh, I hope um, that helped you understand this, how to solve this puzzle. And I hope that was quite interesting interesting to you um, this uh, Sudoku finding that uh, is found on Logic Masters Germany well thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video